everyone um today it's my birthday so you're gonna get ready with me so i just put chapstick on i i got my wisdom teeth out so whenever you have like teeth problem or what am I trying to say? Like a toothache or something like that. Your skin can break out in this area. So that's what mama's got going on right now. So I'm just going to moisturize my face with um, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Because it's winter where I live. And I hate winter. I get so dry. I can never put enough freaking lotion on. It's... I don't like it. Oh, I gotta go wet my sponge. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start by priming. And I use the... Hmm, I've had it so long. The Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. And I don't even take a half a pump like this stuff. You don't need a lot. And I just focus that right in my T zone where I feel I have like some bigger pores right here. Like I'm not oily by any means, so my pores aren't like huge, but and then I just put it over like my breakouts. Like if I have dry skin so that the foundation or concealer or powder like doesn't stick to it. Dang. I'm going to use my, that's better, and yes, it may look, oh, I lied, I can't take this foundation, I put self tanner on, so my face, my neck is so much darker than my face, hold on, I'll be right back, this is, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I totally goofed up. I forgot I put self-tanner on. That's why my neck looks way darker than my face. And ignore this hand. Look at how off, like, have I ever self-tanned before in my life? Like, my face. Who knows what happened? I don't. So, I'm going to reapply my primer. Just super quickly. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with the green. I'm, my brain is all over the place today. Oh, where is this coming from? I have black stuff like all over my hands. I'm not, I'm really not understanding where it's coming from. Okay, so we're going to try this one more time. And does this have... Uh, I can never tell. Do these have SPF in them? Yeah. Ugh, people are being rude. Mixture of this poor professional, the minimizing makeup. I'm going to just take two drops on each cheek just to put it act like a second primer to where I just put primer okay I'm sorry I'm like looking this way but it's my mirror <laughs> I could probably move it but my desk is literally the biggest there it's a mess okay this down here that you can't see yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take a mixture of the Hourglass Vanishing Stick, right? I think that's what this is. Yeah. And I have the shade Shell. And I literally just dot this all over. And I'm out like this is like the end of the stick. <laughs> what is my favorite foundation? I love it. So we use it for our birthday. 
Mm, I can't decide what one, so I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match in Cool 3, which is Creamy Nude Natural. And then the CoverGirl. Oh, my face itches. Then we're going to take the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir in 742 Medium Beige. Oh, I miss summer. I haven't been this shade since summer. These are my summer shades. That's how much I change in the freaking winter. Like, how annoying. Like, that matches my neck, but not my face. And I take my foundation and put it over my eyelids. Just because my eyelids are super... And I push it back into my hairline, especially if you have fake tan on. You need to push it back into your hairline because we're trying to fool everyone. And look like we just came back from the freaking Bahamas. Like we got some natural glow going on. When it's literally nine degrees outside. Like what is life? So then, tart shape tape. And I don't use a lot. How are you guys today? I haven't posted a video in a long ass time. I think probably what Two years, <laughs> three years. I know I'm the worst. I just have a life. Just kidding, I'm not important, but I didn't have a really an area to film at my old apartment. And my roommates were always home. I'm literally waiting for like my roommate to just like walk in right now and be like, um, what are you doing? Okay. So now that we have that on, try not to look down too much because my under eyes will crease. But then I take my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. And and if there are, like, it's usually, like, right up on my lash line. So I just tap it out with my finger. And then... And then I also take that powder, like, whatever's left on the sponge, and go on my eyelid, too, to set that. So that it doesn't move. Woo! Oh, Concealer and foundation are, like... The things I cannot live without, it's insane. Like if you guys could leave the house, oh, so then after I have it packed on, I don't want too much under my eye because I do have drier under eyes, so it will make me look old. So I just take my Morphe R31 and just lightly, like ever so lightly, just dust off whatever is like closest to my lash line because that's like I said where I crease the most so then I take my BH Cosmetics one brush and now that I have tanner on I'm going to go in with this Maybelline um, Superstay Better Skin Powder and in the summer I'm summer I do more 30 with just a little bit of 10 in the winter I just use 10 um, but now that I have self tan on, I'm going to use a little bit of both. So I literally am just going to do like a couple dabs in there, a couple dabs, and just like go back and forth. And then I just press it on my face. You know, it's funny, the apartment building I live in right now, 
um, the walls are like paper thin because it's an older home or older apartment so all my neighbors can probably hear me like talking to myself right now <sighs> but we all know oh that powder literally then I take my NYX contour and highlight palette and I take what shade are you the 07 sculpt powder it's the only one I use the other is well not the only one the other ones are broke sad day and I'm using a real techniques brush and I just lightly like the very 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 tip of this I just run it right along my nose and up into the corner of my eye here just right by my brow And same thing on this side. It's like an instant no shot. Who would have thought? And take it on my chin because <laughs> Mama's gained a few pounds. You guys, that's the saddest thing ever. It's like when you put on something that you used to fit into. Granted, I haven't worn it in years, so. I've gained weight, but I've like gained more muscle, if that makes sense, than actual like fat. But still gained a little bit of fat too, because I can't stay away from burgers and pizza. I can't, I can't do it. I. Yeah. So I'm just being super random with this powder. Well, not super random, but like, I'm not worried about it like blending out. Like you can see on this side, it's much more harsh. Because this is my sculpt powder. So this is what's contouring my face. Not bronzing, so it's concentrated in just more of a smaller area. And then... After that, I know, my brush broke, it's a Morphe one, no it's not, I lied, bronzing, so I take it um, in my Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and this is what's going to blend out those two together. And when I bronze here, like my forehead, I place majority of the powder here, like in my temple and blend upward. Because I already have like a smaller forehead, so I don't really need to like worry contour it really. I just want to make it even so it doesn't look like my cheeks are like super tan and my like no colors on my forehead. If that even makes sense. So I have that on. I'm going to throw a little blush. I'm using this e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink. And I'm just using it on an e.l.f. blush brush. In my broken brush again that I bronzed with and just like doing a once over so that everything just like blends together oh my lips are so dry they literally hate me <laughs> I can't okay so we got so I use the L'Oreal infallible setting spray Oh, I have missed my setting spray. I've been out for like two weeks and I've just been honestly too lazy to just 
like whenever I went to the store I always would forget. Oh, there's a hair in my nose. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, so then I let that dry, like I let it soak in for a little bit. And then I take my beauty blender, it's dirty, or not my beauty blender, my Real Technique sponge. And I just like blend everything together so that it's real seamless. And then as it's like still kind of wet, if I have a special occasion or I'm going, I'm feeling myself, this is the highlight I use. Oh, that's so pretty. Peeps are blowing on my phone. And I take my sponge again and just bounce it over. My camera stops recording after so long. If you guys know how to get that to stop, please let me know because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, when doing your brows, never hold them like this because when you're done filling them in, they will look like this. You want to keep them relaxed. I'm doing the brow fix brow kit and I think light brown yep and I'm of that bottom shade yes I know I need a new one I'm like barely like one little dab just oh I hate myself I just did that <laughs> Oh well, yellow, whatever. And a little, a little long, long white wig. Oh, okay. And then just Boom! Look at that. Look at it. Do you see the difference? It's a world of a difference, I tell you. Boom. Boom. Like, look how much of a difference. And this is the Revita Brow, no, Revita Lash High Definition Tinted Brow Gel. In the shade, I think it's brown. Soft brown. And yes, this is the natural color of my brows. My brows, I can thank my mama for that one. On to the Holy Grail. I freaking love this palette. Okay? Morphe, Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill, I love you. I've followed you forever. But, can we just, like, appreciate this? I mean, look at it. Morning. It's like every like couple minutes. Freaking annoying. I'm just taking all the things. Like, but I'm glad. 
Oh, there's not a friend. Well, guys, I'm just gonna say, strictly a makeup channel. Like, I do have a brother, and I think it would be really funny if he did do my makeup. Oh, contacts are dry. But that's not necessarily like, excuse you, sir. People with loud cars, why? Why are you a thing? Like trucks with the loud muffler? No. Parker, I'm taking Hunt's and where am I? I'm taking Hunt's, Jack's, and Buns. And mixing those together and just like on a small little fluffy brush. Back and just blending. Always go back to your. So I'm taking a mix of just on my finger, and I'm just popping her right on the lid. Oh yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I miss having my nails because my fingers are like little tiny sausages. So they look much we used. Oh my goodness, my phone. To reality. So now I'm taking. What brush do I want actually? And I'm taking chip and just gonna push it right where I want it. And then taking a clean blending brush and just blending that out. Just for a little extra dimension. Nothing too crazy. And honestly, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Boom. Done. Well, almost. And then... Curl my lashes. Okay, I'm not done. We'll take the Carly Bible palette. And a little bit of her highlighters. And pop it in the inner corner. Okay. Now back to curling my eyelashes. I know that probably looks so and I don't know if I'm going to do lashes yet or not, so I'm just going to take my Voluminous Feline Waterproof Mascara. If your lashes don't stay curled, I tell you, use a waterproof mascara. It will change your life. You guys, I'm 24. <laughs> I just want to be nine. Again, you know. Like, I don't want to pay bills. I don't want to have a car payment. I guess that counts as a bill, but... Do any of you have birthdays on December 14th? Because, man, this probably isn't even going up today. But, still, we'll pretend it's my birthday every day till it goes up. But today is December 14th, and it's my birthday. You guys, this mascara literally gives me, like, I don't necessarily need false lashes. Like, I wear them when I want to be, like, super extra. 
And when I do, I wear the, um, what are they? The Ardell Faux Mink ones. Love them. And now I'm going to take the Lord & Barry Silk Kajal Coal Liner. And just run it on my upper waterline. Okay, so then I let that like first layer dry. Boom. And then we'll just throw a little bit more. And we're just leave it like that for now. And then later before I go out, if I want to put on false lashes, I can. Now for lips. I think I'm gonna do a mix. So I'm gonna use my NYX lip liner in Urban Cafe. And just do the outsides. I honestly don't like this lip liner. I mean, it's good. But it's just so creamy. I literally, it like slips and slides everywhere. Like, I want a little, like, I like this. Like, I have way more control over this. Like, this is creamy. It goes on. But I have like way more control over it, I feel like. Boom. Then, I don't know why I keep saying it like that. We're going to take my 915 Maybelline lipstick. It's a nude. Do a little something like that, and then you guys, my favorite freaking gloss are these Becca lip toppers. I have it in the shade Rose Quartz and Seashell. Right? Is it Seashell? Yes. Can we just. It's magical. These are magical. That is what we're working with. And I'm going to go in and just simple, simple. But it still looks cute. Like I went from drab to fab. Ew. Thanks, guys, for watching. And like the video subscribe duh and let me know down below what other videos challenges things i should do if i should vlog my life is pretty boring but vlogging might make it more fun um so i will see you guys